This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Now this is gonna be a bit of a special video. This is some of the footage I managed to capture when I went to Sims Camp this year. And I wanna thank EA for sending me to Sims Camp and paying for all my expenses. I really, really appreciate it. I had the best time ever meeting everybody and playing around with the new expansion pack, which by the way, guys, is absolutely amazing. Now, I didn't get to do much gameplay because as you guys know, I am primarily a builder. So I wanted to concentrate mainly on the build mode items and the, the new terrain manipulation. Now, the new terrain manipulation is coming in a free update in November. I am unsure of the date, so you need to catch up with your gurus if you do not know. Um, Sad thing is I actually did a full build and buy review, but my recording footage was corrupted. I got home, looked at what I'd done and it was not there. It was not there, it was there, but it would not let me play. I've tried so much I do, to try and fix it. I tried to put it in Premiere Pro and fix it, but it is completely broken. Now this happened to quite a few other simmers as well. So a lot of other simmers did have corrupted footage. So all I managed to capture was something that I managed to kind of make a start on and build and do most of the actual exterior itself and also play around with the new terrain manipulation. Now this was my favorite thing about the whole visit because I've wanted to terrain manipulation in The Sims 4 since The Sims 4 came out because I used to build so much of it in The Sims 3 that I just felt it was lacking a little bit and this is going to completely change the way I build so expect a lot more speed builds coming as soon as this terrain build uh, terrain manipulation comes out because it is going to be so exciting so what I've done today I will go through it in a minute and we will look at the world map that is my dog snoring by the way I want to introduce you to him now actually because I don't think I've introduced him on properly on YouTube um, but this is the gorgeous blue <laughs> He's got, he's got a poorly eye at the minute. He's got eye drops in, but this is my beautiful friend. Hello. <laughs> Are you gonna give them a snort? He always comes up and says hello to everybody on Twitch, but I thought this could be his little YouTube debut, but he is very tired and I've got to give him eye drops. He's got a bit of a red eye. Um, The, doc the doctor, the vet said, there's nothing to worry about too much. Just keep putting them in like every two days and everything should be fine, but He'll be all right. He's just going to sleep in my arms while I carry on chatting. But what we're going to do, we're going to go through, have a look at the world map. I do go around a little bit and show you a few sort of uh, venues or a couple. Um, and just to get a feel of the world itself. <laughs> he's, he's completely fell asleep in my arms. Um, and then we'll go in and I'll show you what I do with the build itself. But um, <laughs> look at him. Blue. <laughs> Am I that boring? <laughs> but guys... Give me two seconds and I'll meet you back in the world map. So hello friends and welcome to the beautiful world of El Sol Valley. Now this is the world map. This is what you are going to see when you go into game. I just do a quick little scan around at all the different lots. There's like the sort of starting area up, up there. There's the kind of working area where you can put the cinema and all sorts in. And the top right is where all of the, the rich sims and the celebrities or your sim celebrities will definitely go to be able to live. Um, I just pulled myself into game. I've just got this generic sim and I just wanted to go around and see what this world was about because I was itching to see it. And the more I was looking at the landscape, I, was, I obviously know this is kind of based on LA and sort of Hollywood. Um, main reasons I knew this is because I saw the pollution. <laughs> I saw the like sort of film that smoggy sort of feeling in the in the background that it's got there. I just thought it was really cool. This whole world looks really great. I'm really, really excited about building in it. Um, I cannot wait to play around with everything a little bit more. I mean, it's amazing. I look at the cars. I'm hoping, and I'm not sure, but I'm hoping that we get to pull more cars out of debug so we don't have to like size up any kind of like toy and stuff to sort of make use as a car um now this is the other area that i was just talking about um this is the area where the cinema and the um i don't know what that is it's like a 
country. It's like a club for your very exclusive Sims. I'll go over there in just a second. This is the cinema down to the left hand side of the screen now. Um, I was busy like just scanning around. Like I, I was too excited. And then I seen this waterfall and I was like, what? That is absolutely amazing. I love that. I love the water graphics on it. I think it looks so cool. Um, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm going to be building a cinema and I'm definitely going to be giving this house a big makeover. A big makeover, it needs it, but look at that limo, guys. Now I'm unsure as to how the limos work. You will go and have to you're gonna have to go and check all the other um game changers that came to Sims Camp because I know that they went into a lot more detail with the gameplay and stuff. Me personally, because I don't play the game, I was just like, mm, I wanna see what where I can build, what I can do with it, and what sort of things we can kind of create together. But love the glass roof on the um I think it's an art gallery. I'm going to say it is. But anyway, into build mode. So this here, my friends, is terrain manipulation. So what you can see I'm doing now, I was kind of pulling up a sort of horseshoe shape around the front of my build. Um, main reasons being I wanted this to kind of have this sort of cantilevered edge. You know I'm going to build modern. It's, it's always my favorite way to build. And yes, it's going to be a solid black box. You probably figured that out from the thumbnail. But I was just like, I didn't have any reference pictures or anything. I had an idea in my head with one sketch that I found. And I was just like, I'm not going to get enough time to do that. I'm not going to get enough time to do that. So I just thought, bugger it. I'm going to wing it and I'm going to see what happens. Um, and I got compliments from Sim Guru Ninja on my build. And that just made my day. <laughs> it really did make my day. Main reasons being, when you're trying to build something and you've got Sim Gurus wandering around watching you do stuff, it was a little bit daunting it was really daunting but i just got into my mode and i was like come on aiden you can do this let's just carry on see what we're gonna do and in my head i was like why don't you try and do like a modern sort of a frame kind of look um onto one side and then these cantilevered edges that kind of split out in different directions and take in the view of the whole of del sol valley i thought that would be the perfect way to do it um, so that's what I did and I got to play around with the glass roofs and stuff as well Which I have done before you guys know they've been in the game for quite a while now But I was just like mm, this build could do with a glass roof and I was trying to manipulate the roofs here to like sort of fit in properly um, And I did it in the end um, the only texture that would have worked properly would have been this sort of solid black one Which is what I was going for anyway, so I was not um, unhappy with the fact that none of the sort of tiles were matching up perfectly um, but yeah, and you can see what, what I love with the bit with this terrain manipulation is when you build from the level that you've already built at and you go into the train, the train moves itself down. So it allows you to build in there quite nicely. And oh, I'm just in love with it. I'm so in love with this train mode. It's so easy to use and really intuitive. Like, and you can change around. You can see down the bottom, you can change around the smoothness and the speed at what you're lifting stuff up. And I was just in love, in love. Now, these are one of the new windows. I was like, yes, new modern windows. And there's me putting my cheats in. I was like, I've got to have cheats. I've just got to have cheats. But these new windows are really cool, really chunky sort of frames on the outside, which in the beginning, I was like, oh, that's going to limit the amount of sort of builds I can do this on. But I still really enjoyed it. I still really enjoyed playing around with it. And this new wallpaper that I'm putting on as well is quite similar to one that we've already got in game. But I really, really love it. I love it. And it came in so handy with this build. Um, I'm so sad that my build sort of like overview got corrupted. But I will be... Um, I will be doing a full build review once I do get the pack a bit earlier. So as always, just stay tuned for that, guys, as well, because it is going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. Um, On this side bit here, I was like, I need something to sort of anchor this build into the ground because it is very cantilevered. So I do this uh, sort of pillar using walls, um, which is done so many times. And I use a base game wallpaper. I was just like, that kind of just works. It's black, but it's a different texture. And it just really fits in. Now you can see me going in and you can just fine tune all of the terrain manipulation really, really nicely. They kind of meet up to the foundations nice. It does take a little while to get used to. And I'm still going to have to get used to it once the pack does or once the actual update does come out. But I was just like, I love it. And look at the new front door. I'm in love with the new front door as well. That is one of the new front doors that we get with the new expansion. Um, I was like, shall I use these on here? I 
I was like, mm, no, I'm going to go ahead and use the new windows. You can see a few other new windows going down the bottom. These are new roof. They've gone now, but they were new like roof vents. So we've got more stuff to stick on roofs, which is what we needed. What we needed. Now you can see when you lift the train up, any trees that you've got on the train actually lift up with the train as well, which I really loved. One thing I was like, oh, I wish that did work is when you're putting sort of landscaping and plants down, it doesn't snap to the train. It kind of floats at the level at the train's at. I wish the land, like the landscaping could like sort of, you know what I mean? Sort of like snap to the actual, um, yeah, landscape. <laughs> now these are new details. I put them on the pillar there. You can see what I've done there. They're very similar to the ones that we've already got in the game, but they actually snap to the wall. And they, I've been asking for more architectural pieces in The Sims 4 for quite a while now. And I'm just hoping that they may have heard my wishes because ah, I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this all. Um, One of the things as I was going through this build, because this is on a 64 by 64 lot. This is a huge lot. Main reasons being, I wanted to play around with the train tools as much as possible, the train manipulation as much as possible. Um, so I needed a big lot, but the more I was building on it, there was like, yeah, you've, <laughs> you've cut yourself short here because this was probably like two hours, two and a half hours of footage. Um, so I didn't get a chance to do my usual cramming as much detail in as possible. I could have carried on with this build for hours and hours and hours, but uh, just look how this terrain like manipulation is working. I love being able to, start to kind of morph the landscape and make it look natural instead of this like flat landscape. Um, with the stepping stones over to the left hand side, they do sort of sneak into the landscaping. But I go through afterwards and fine tune it with one of the manipulation tools where it allows you to kind of flatten a surface out really nicely. Um, and it is, it's all about uh, trial and error. It's all about trial and error. And that is mainly what this build was about. I just wanted to get something down um, and I was really happy. And this terrain tool, this terrain paint here, the dark earth, we have needed a dark, dark earthy sort of muddy terrain paint for ages. Now, I don't know how long that's been in the game. I don't know if it's in the game at the minute. I don't know if it's coming with a free update, which I think it will be coming with a free update. But it is everything. It is everything. It just makes all the landscaping for me sit into the ground and sit into the landscape really nicely. And I just love it. I just love it. And I'm probably cutting into some of the um, sort of textures that I'm picking here with my camera. And I do apologize for that. But the main reasons being is that I didn't record this in 4K. I could have, but... The settings were not, uh, I wasn't able to uh, change them for some reason. I don't know what was going on. The guy came over and tried to fix it for me, but it just wasn't happening. But I don't know. Still pretty cool. And you're getting a vague idea of what I'm trying to sort of recreate here. Um, but I just think it's a really sweet little build. And I'm sad that I didn't get to furnish it with the new furnishing objects. But I just didn't get time. I didn't get time, guys. And I could have spent at least nine hours on this build. I really could have. But I can save that and I can get excited with you guys once the new uh, train stuff does come out. We've got some new rock details, which you can obviously see I'm using uh, rock um, train paint that you can see I'm using around the build as well. But I just love it. I just love it. You can just make these builds look so natural um, and I am all for it. But you can see what I've done with the cantilevered edge on this side as well. I kind of skipped it out over to the side just to get the best of all of these views in. I got inspired recently by a build or a house that I saw on um, Grand Designs and I just loved it. And I was just like, oh, maybe that could work. Maybe that could work. Now, this is where we go in and try and get a pool uh, or a natural sort of pond looking thing going in. And guys, let me tell you, they are looking at, this was from one of the sim gurus themselves, they are looking into pond tools. So do not feel disheartened that there isn't pond tools in the game at the minute. It is something that they wanted to, they want to add in the future. They just wanted to perfect the terrain tools first before they go in uh, to the game and try and change anything else around which I'm just so excited about so pond tools will be coming to the sims 4 at some point at some point um not even sure if I'm allowed to say that but I did <laughs> but um what I do with the train paints now is I go around and I soften up that hard edge so until pond tools are in the game I mean I don't know if they will be or not they will be um I just went around and softened up the sort of hard pool edge with a bit of terrain paint. And I just think it just makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, and I use the trim from Get Together 
and yeah, I just really love it. And the the one thing that I am know I'm going to be doing a whole lot more um as soon as this update comes out is terrain painting because painting the landscape makes it look more natural and 3D. Now I didn't perfect it in this. I need to perfect it once um I've got the tools at hand and I can play around with it a lot more, but I, I enjoyed everything. I really, really did enjoy everything that I got to play around with. I hope you like this, guys. I hope you like it. It's a very short video compared to my usual speed builds. But as you know, and as I've just said, I got corrupted with my build and buy footage, which I'm really sad about because I was going to go through the whole thing really early and show you everything because I went through absolutely everything in the whole build and buy menu and it did not even record. And I'm so sad. I'm so sad about it. Or it did record, but the recording footage is just corrupted and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't retrieve it or anything. I was even going to ask one of the other game changers if that I could steal their footage, but I was just like, no, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait out and see um, when the pack comes early to us game changers and then I can just do a full build and buy review with my own footage in real time like I usually do. So yeah, get ready for that hour long video, which will probably be creeping up very soon, hopefully. But yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Look, and with like all of that, oh, that's gone. That's gone. I was just about to say with all the little valleys that I'm creating, I tried to get some sort of rock details in there and... I just loved it loved playing around with this and you can see me trying to get rid of the earth there but i think as you pull a terrain up higher the earth does come out and you are unable to kind of manipulate the uh sort of pattern of it so what i did is just thought well i can just add more of the rock sort of details in instead then and make the valley the valleys in the actual landscape themselves a bit darker and it, and it came together quite nice and you can see i used the new fence on the outside that very short kind of glass fence which i love that's going to come in really handy for some modern builds that i've got in my head now i have got literally a page and a half full of builds that i want to recreate and do um when these tools come out because i've been wanting to do them for years but i've never been able to because there is no way of trying to recreate these builds without using train tools and now I can and I'm so excited I'm so excited let me know how hyped you are as well guys because I will be chatting with you guys in the comments too um but it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be amazing complete and utter game changer I tell you um but yeah cool it is really cool but you can see just by adding in these rocks into the valleys and softening things here and there it just adds dimension to the actual landscape um I probably would have liked a different terrain paint on this now looking back at it but that is something that I can sort of uh, edit when I get to play around with these tools properly but yeah I'm really excited I'm really excited and I hope that you guys um, are excited for it as well I really do but you can see what I mean like playing around with the grass textures I kind of do a flatter grass texture facing towards the sun as if it's been kind of bleached out from all the heat that it's been getting and then at the top of it, I kind of mute down the greens and just, yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I, I know you guys are excited for it as well. I really do. But this was just a short little video to show you as to what can be done in the early stages of building um, and what I can create using them for like an hour i didn't get a chance to do them much but now you can see me what i'm what i'm going to be doing now is trying to morph you can see i'm flattening out this landscape so these tiles don't sink into the landscape and i've already gone around the lot and pulled up little hills here and there and added a bit more dimension to it all just to make it look really natural in my head as i was doing this i was like these tools would be perfect to create a golf course <laughs> like i don't golf never have never will but I just thought it would have been a perfect tool to create a little mini golf course. Like, I just thought it was great. I really did. I really did. And I'm excited. And I'm very excited. And I think you guys are going to be very excited as well once it does come out. But yeah, cute. Very cute. I do like it. Um, I need to use a lot more trees as well now with this landscaping as well. Because I'll be able to morph them around and make it look so much more natural than what I have before. I found with a flat landscape and adding trees and stuff, it just made it look very like sort of samey whereas now you can put trees up higher and lower and you could make it like a forest yourself like there's just so many possibilities to do with this and i am thoroughly excited about it i really am really am but you can see i'm just getting involved with the train painting that's all i'm going to be doing 
pulling up like hills. I'm just going to be doing builds with hills and train paints. <laughs> but I'm excited. So bloody excited. Uh, but you, that's the best thing about it as well. Morphing the landscaping up to the actual build itself to cover foundations and stuff like oh like there's just there's so many things to recreate there really is and i haven't even got halfway into it to be able to sort of see what sort of things we can do but i'm so excited just look how natural it all looks and look how it all kind of sits in and morphs around and my god i'm excited my god i've got some big mansions in my head like what i want to do in my head i've got um some builds from some TV shows and movies that I've always wanted to, to recreate and I've never been able to. But I also will be going back to some builds that I built before, like Santorini. I would love to try and build, rebuild Santorini again using the uh, landscaping tools. Um, I never know what, terrain manipulation is such a mouthful as well. I just wish we could just keep everything under one sort of roof and call it terrain tools. <laughs> just, we're just gonna call it terrain tools from now on. But terrain manipulation makes it sound a lot more legit, a bit more, a bit more um, posh. It doesn't. Um, but yeah, I really love it. I really love it. But I told you, I'm just literally going to be going around and painting around with terrain. Terrain paints and terrain tools. And I went around afterwards and I was like, I need to put some sort of grassy sort of areas where these trees are growing and stuff. Just to, it's what I usually do in my builds without the terrain manipulation. Um, one little cheat that I did find is if you kind of reduce the plants and stuff in size you can kind of make them look like they're going down the hill and stuff and they're not kind of like sticking out from the hill which um i need again to perfect a bit further on but here are the screenshots go through into the screenshots i think they all look pretty nice pretty nice indeed but again i needed another six hours on this build to make it perfect and make it finished but i hope you enjoyed the rest of this build i really do and i just i cannot wait to play around with it a lot more and perfect everything and make sure that i am adept to using this new completely amazing tool that as i've just said will completely change everything and i cannot wait I really, really cannot wait. But thank you again, guys, for watching this. I really appreciate it. And thank you once again to EA for sending me to Sims Camp and all the gurus who were so lovely to speak to and everyone else that were there that helped um, make this experience one of the best ever. And I hope I get to do it again someday soon because I had the time of my life. And yeah, that's about it. But I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Stay up to date. I will be checking out a few more videos this week um, with my Twitch overview and stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.